What's good? It's your boy, Rich Long. And I just came here, you already know, to keep it real. I I was inspired to do this word because I feel like it's a testimony and it can help somebody. The spirit of competition. There's a spirit of competition that arises in a lot of people concerning God's chosen ones. When it comes to us and the relationships that we have with people, one of the toughest hurdles that we're going to have to get over a lot of times, if we can get over it, because sometimes people got to get out of our life with this bullshit, is the spirit of competition. And um, on one hand, because I'm a human being and because... I can see things from all sides. I'm one of them type of people. That don't mean I'm going to be with uh, the wrong side, but I can see everything on the board. Um, we do have a lot of gifts. We, we come correct 99.9% of the time. We're very smart. You know what I'm saying? And um, most of all, God made us uniquely beautiful. We all have some type of peculiar beauty that can't be denied. But look, um, to the people, whether you're conscious or unconscious of this, that this spirit arises in. If, if, if this is something that you're going through or, or maybe you're someone who you find yourself... Feeling that people are secretly competing against you. Listen, they can't compete where they don't compare. They can't compete where they don't compare. We're two totally different animals. It's apples and oranges. They, they're always going to lose when it comes to us. And it might look like they're winning. But in the end, they'll still lose because there's favor over our life. We're God's favorite. We're chosen. He he handpicked us and marked us from the beginning. They don't get that. They don't get that you can't win with us. There, there, there's no way for them to actually defeat or conquer this light that God has put in us because it's always going to expose darkness. Even without us trying to do anything, just us being ourselves, we were created to expose darkness and, and break up principalities that that would overtake the kingdom. Now, look, my whole life I've dealt with that from cousins to so-called friends to the relationships that I've had with um, partners. They always begin to compete. And they think I don't notice this, that they're hating in the background. They think that I don't notice that they're breadcrumbing me. They think that I don't notice that they live with me and, and, and eat my shit. They think I don't notice that they, they, they turn on my lights and use my toilet tissue. They think I don't notice that most of the things they got I bought. <laughs> they resent that shit and they begin to plot. I feel like they don't know that they're being used a lot of time. So because they're capable of being used, the enemy uses them because their heart wasn't already in the right place. They weren't posturing themselves to, to do the right thing by us because they ain't never had nothing like us and they never will again. Most of the time you're going to be the closest thing to God. That these people are going to experience. Because most of the people they know ain't shit. You know. There are assignment. We came in their life to show them what they could have. And that's what we have to get used to. And one of the calls on our life. Is to not get so attached. There's going to be people that God. Plants in your life. But then there's going to be a lot of people. that They're, they're part of the assignment. Some people are not your assignment. Some people are just coming to take. And you got to escort them out. Matter of fact, boot them in the ass. Fight them if you have to. But try to stay out of jail. Because we're living in a time where you can't play with people. 
people will try to kill you. For real. Um, I'm not ashamed to say that I, I'll, I'll, I'll put my hands on these people if they don't back the fuck up off of me. Because I don't like a lot of silly shit. But first and foremost, I'll try to, to go over the rules of engagement. But because I don't have a lot of time to, to waste, I, I, I'll, I'll cut them down. You know what I'm saying? And I'm smart, so it'll be done happen before they knew it. I'll, I'll already be done, uh, 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 went on about my business. Because I don't, I really don't play. But back to the subject at hand. The spirit of a competition that arises against God's chosen vessels. Because God calls you to come and be a light and to be an example to people. They resent that. Because they're instantly convicted. They feel like you think you're better. <laughs> and you are better. It ain't, it, they're not lying. <laughs> but they can't get mad at how God made us. We were made in uniqueness in God's image. We're as close to his image as you can get. We're a work in progress because we're in a human form. And... and we're not perfect. We're not. We're just better than them. We're always striving for perfection. God's put a heightened sense of awareness in us. And um, we we just real with it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, there's that. <laughs> but um, this is something you got to be aware of. It's something you're going to deal with. And it's part of the battle. And right now, I'm going to pray over God's chosen ones. Father God, I ask that you continue to guide us and to secure our positions. I ask that you have warring angels go forth on our behalf and whisper in the ear of influential men and women. So that we may have favor in our comings and going. And I ask that you continue to supply our demand. I ask that you supply those that are in need in the street right now. Father, I ask that you continue to use us as your chosen vessels and continue to give us strategy on how to defeat our enemies. And we know that we're we're in a position of victory. And all we have to do is maintain that victory. We know there's going to be people who are trying to trap us and trick us and compete with us. But we know that if we just continue to run our race, that there's a victory on the other side of this thing. We know that you're not done with us yet. We know that. For such a time as this, we were put in a position to influence influential people and that there's a call on our life bigger than us. So we ask that you protect us and guide us and continue to be our peace and our refuge and our provider. Amen. I love y'all. I'll be back ASAP like Rocky. <laughs> Peace.